that is because it's lucrative. <laughs> like they don't. G'day. Um, I'm just watching Joshua Bardwell's latest video, and he's telling you that he's going to start using affiliate links. Now, I can understand why he is going to do that. And actually, I'll put a link to his video in the description of this one, because it's very important that uh, you take a look at that video and see the pressure that reviewers are under to supplement the revenues they get from existing sources, such as YouTube's advertising and Patreon. Because as Joshua goes on to say in this video, it, Average video you put up, get a good video, might get 10,000 views, might get 20,000 views. We're looking, you know, roughly you know, 10 to $30, depending on the video. It's not a lot of money. When you consider how long it takes to produce some of these videos, I mean, some videos, because you, know, you have problems, you might have to redo it. I think some of my videos have taken, some of them taken three or four days for a 10 minute video. And if you need $10 for that, you can see obviously there's not a lot. <laughs> the hourly rate is pretty abysmal. Fortunately, I have Patreon supporters who uh, contribute a little bit every month. And if you want to do that, again, I'll put something in the description. Go and have a look. Um, they are invaluable because YouTube's revenues have, or ad revenues have plummeted. Um, when I started doing this full time, it was great. I could support myself and my family on the revenues that were generated. I wasn't going to get rich, but I could pay the bills. Now, without my Patreon support, I would be uh, deeply in debt every month. And so I can understand why Joshua and so many other re reviewers are going the affiliate way. Now, as Joshua points out, you know, 20, 20 bucks is a good video, but he put an affiliate link on one video and he got $250 from the affiliate link. So he's earning 10 times as much in some cases as he'd earn from the video itself. Now, if I earn 10 times as much as I currently earn, I'd be able to pay my bills, be great. I'm not going to complain about what I'm doing now. I mean, I, I don't have any money left over at the end of the month, but I'm a kind of person, I have this outlook, um, if you've got $1 left at the end of the month, you're a rich man after you've paid your bills. And that's the way I look at it. I'm not into accumulating large amounts of wealth, not that I um, have the ability to do that, but um, I much prefer to provide stuff that helps people out, you know, helps you out, gives you the right information. Now, Joshua, straight up guy, he tells you he's going to have affiliate links. Why he's doing it? I'm not criticizing Joshua at all. I can fully understand why he's doing that. And, you know, congratulations to him for doing that, hopefully, because his channel's good. You know, he's good content. I like the stuff he does. It's, it's informed. It's really good stuff. I would not criticize Joshua in any way, shape or form. And I'm sure that his reviews will remain totally unbiased and independent. Uh, so, but what I'm telling you is that I'm not going to do that. Um, but again, there is this pressure to actually pay the bills, pay the bills and YouTube revenues tailing off. Patreon is good. It's, it's, it's pretty stable at the moment. It's, I've got a sort of fixed amount of Patreon coming in. I'd love more, but I'm not going to hassle you guys to, to support me on Patreon. What I was thinking is, should I go the affiliate way, but not in the way that um, so many other people have gone, but in a slightly different way. Now, I don't want it to be seen that if I go and put affiliate links, people are, I'm going to be plugging a product because I'm going to make money out of it. Ten times more than I make out of the video, I would rather people could use an affiliate link on any product. Now, I know that the way certainly Banggood's affiliate system works, I think if you go through an affiliate link and then go on and buy something else, the affiliate gets a commission on everything you buy. I believe that's the way it works. So should I put just one link, the same link in every video? And if you, for example, want to buy something from Banggood, why not just come to my, one of my videos, click on that link, and then I'll get a few coin for what you buy, even if it's not the product that was on the thing. And I wouldn't put the product I was reviewing in the link. I might just have some generic product, a woman's handbag or something silly like that, so that you know it's not something I'm plugging. But if you want to donate a little coin that won't cost you anything because it comes out of Banggood's profits, then you could do it that way. Is this something that's worth considering? I don't know. I don't. I just don't want to go down the um, affiliate for product thing. I mean, it's interesting to note actually now that Banggood and the other suppliers have got so have got this army of reviewers out there, and they're not all like Joshua. A lot of them are. I got this free product from Banggood. I'm not going to tell you I got it for free, but it's fantastic. Here's the link in my description. Go and buy it so I get rich. Um, there's so much of that going on now. Why would Banggood or anyone else want to send me, a critical reviewer, a product who, when they, the, they're risking, as was the case with the wizard, um, that I might give it a bad review? Um, why would you take that risk? Let's just send it out to the army of other um, yes men reviewers, the sycophantic reviewers, who will say it's fantastic because they got it for free and they're going to make money if you go and buy one. Well, I'm never going to be in that category. I'm never going to do that. Now, Joshua said in his video that um, all product reviews are sponsored. Well, not all of mine are. Um, I have always disclosed when I get a product that I didn't pay for. And I do buy a lot of products that I review because, um, again, I don't want 
this channel to be sponsored. I don't want to be beholden to anyone. As you've seen, <laughs> I, I don't, uh, giving me a product doesn't buy favor. Uh, you saw that with the EA Sheen Wizard. I mean, I got this free quadcopter, you know, I, I don't care. It was a piece of crap. And subsequently they have um, replaced the arms. They're sending out new arms because as I said, they're not carbon. And no one, no other reviewer picked that up. I'm the only guy that picked it up. And um, if I had, if I was the kind of guy that was making money out of affiliate links, I might be tempted to say, well, mm, it's not carbon, but yeah, maybe they'll be strong enough. Because I know um, Stu at UAV Futures, he flew us into a tree several times and the arms didn't break. So you might be tempted to say, no, nah, it doesn't matter they're not carbon. But as we all know, when it comes to quadcopters and crashing, sometimes the lightest little impact can break something. The next time you can slam to something that 100 miles an hour and it'll bounce you know, it just depends on the way the forces are directed so i would much rather point out that hey this has got a flaw this is it and it may affect you so what i'm basically getting around to in this convoluted back to front kind of way is saying should i include a generic affiliate link in my videos so that if you want to buy something you can go to a video click on it and i get a few coin or should i just stay right clear of this affiliate stuff now there is a pressure to earn more money as i say i'm basically living from from check to check i don't i don't have any money left at the end of the month which is a kind of a, a problem because recently my rendering computer you notice there hasn't been a few videos for a while my rendering computer just start, has started becoming unreliable it would reboot randomly which is really annoying because you get to the end of a long edit and you've forgotten to save you know for the last 10 minutes and the computer reboots you've lost all that work or it's done a two-hour render you get to the the last five percent of the video render and the computer reboots and all that time is wasted so I had to spend some time and some money to fix up that computer. It's going good now, so you get some more videos out of me. But um, it shows that without having some money in reserve, it's kind of dicey business here. And I've got my the camera I'm using here. It's now, I don't know, four or five years old. If that fails, I'm completely buggered. I've got to use a, a GoPro or something, or you know, the little um, SJ7 cam to do my videos, and that's not going to look very good. So I need to start accumulating a bit of money, earning more than I'm spending, so that I can have contingency funds for these things. So you don't suddenly wake up one morning and find, whoa, um, RC Model Reviews is unable to post videos. So I've got to do that. But I'm not going to go out with the begging bond and say, oh, you've got to put money in my Patreon. Um, the Patreon supporters, I thank them a million times because they are just the saviour of this channel. But I would like to do something where the money doesn't have to come from you guys, it can come from somebody else. And if it's Banggood or if it's Amazon or whatever, hey, why not? Because if you buy a product through a generic link on my videos, um, then you're going to pay the same price as if you go straight to Amazon and, or Banggood and buy it. So it's not going to cost you any extra, but you can support the channel doing that. There you go. So in the comments section of this video, please tell me what you think. Um, would it be okay with you guys if I put up a generic um, affiliate link that isn't tied to a product I'm reviewing? So it's, I, there's no way that me giving it a good or bad review is going to affect the amount of revenue I earn from that affiliate link. Is that a good idea? Because at the moment, I think I'm probably one of the only, maybe even the only reviewer, now that Joshua has signed up to the affiliate scheme, who doesn't use affiliate income to support the channel. And I'd like to keep that point of distinction, at least to the degree where I'm not going to be flogging the products that I'm reviewing. So that you can see, not only do I, not only am I pure as snow, but I'm seen to be pure as snow, because that's important. There you go. Your question for the day, please answer it if you can. Uh, in the meantime, as I say, Joshua's channel, link to it in the description. Go and have a look. Good channel. Sign up, subscribe. Really worth time, uh, worth the time watching his videos. They're really good. And now I will uh, get back to work. Thanks for watching. See you later.